Hi friends, it's Sigrid. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sigrid and I make videos about books because I love them. Today I'm going to be doing a mega unboxing. Recently I did a huge unboxings for my YA and fantasy book subscription boxes and this time I'm going to be doing some regular uh, book subscription boxes. So uh, we have a few from Unplugged Book Box. We have a few from Authentic Books, Once Upon a Book Club, and The Bookish Box. And we have quite a bit to get through, so let's jump right in and see what is inside of these boxes. Okay, you guys, so first up, let's start with The Bookish Box. Um, so just a quick update. I am no longer getting this box. I have received a lot of feedback from you guys, and this just isn't a box that you are excited about so this will be my last unboxing for them um, so let's see what is inside okay so it looks like we have a candle here it says our next character candle featuring Edward from Twilight's hometown we created a scent that will bring you right to Forts Washington label art by the talented Nicole deal let's see how it smells oh that smells so good Oh, and it has a wood wick, so I guess, uh, like, usually they kind of, like, crackle a little bit when they, when you're, like, they're lit. But it smells really good. So this is the mug. If you were to snag a mug in Atlanta at a coffee shop, this is what we imagined you'd be grabbing. At KD Pletter has created this beautiful work of art. So let's see. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, next up it looks like we got a necklace. So this is how it looks in the front. Okay, and it says, let the world know you have a case of fictional wonder lust with this gorgeous necklace designed by the bookish shop. This is really cool. Okay, we have a pen. So it says, at blissfully bookish designed this Catmere Academy enamel pin, and we are so in love. We are currently traveling there in our mind. Are you? So this is how the pin looks. Next up, it looks like we have some tea. This is called the Traveler Tea. Spicy vanilla tea for your latte night wonderlust. Made exclusively for the bookish box by Riddler's Tea Shop. So this is how the tea leaves look. Okay, it looks like we have a bookmark the same on both sides and it says artwork is by Nicole Deal showcasing Edward from Twilight double-sided with the velvet matte finish this is the fifth addition to our collectible candle and bookmark series okay and finally we have the book so I'm going to take it out of the plastic so the book is Realm Breaker by Victoria Aveyard I've actually heard some good stuff about this like people are really liking this book uh, so this has an exclusive cover, a reversible dust jacket, custom end papers, it has exclusive artwork, and an Arthur signed tipped in page. So let's see. Oh wow, look at this, you guys. So you can see the signature right here. And look at that artwork. Oh wow, that is beautiful. Look at this. Wow. Lovely. There's actually a map in here. So you guys know, like I recently went to Barnes & Noble actually. Um, and I have a haul coming up for that as well. So stay tuned. And if you are not, not subscribed, that is something you want to see because it's going to be a lot of books. Um, but uh, there's like this girl talking to her family and she walks over and she holds up this book and she opens it up to show the map. And she said, isn't this gorgeous? And her mom was like, it's a map. And I understood exactly what she's, she's saying, like, it is gorgeous. Like, you're creating this whole fictional world enough to create a map. Like, this place does not exist in real life, but you can see it so vividly in your head that you can make a whole map of, like, everything there. Like, all of these fictional places. So, I hear you, girl. Okay, so here is the reversible dust jacket. Okay, so that was everything that was in the bookish box. Um, my thoughts on this. I'm not mad that I am canceling this. I feel as though, yeah, the book was really great. I like that it was signed in special edition. But the box is kind of pricey. Um, and I don't know. I just, the gifts are okay. It's just an okay box. It's not a bad box. It's just, 
it's it's okay and then I, like i just i need some really fantastic boxes <laughs> for the price range so um yeah you won't be seeing it again on my channel um unless something changes and it gets really good like they start to do amazing gifts but so far like what do you guys think about this box um let me know in the comments i could be convinced to continue to subscribe to them like it's it's up to you guys i want to post content that you want to see so next up we are going to be doing my once upon a book club unboxing so i uh subscribe to both the ya and the adult box um i guess i'll start with the ya box i tend to like it a little bit more um, I do have my own code for Once Upon a Book Club. I will put it here so you guys can use it. But it is Black Elwood's 10. It saves you 10% off on subscriptions and anything in the shop. Um, if you're thinking about getting anything, they will be having a Christmas box, a New Year's Eve box, and my personal favorite that I am waiting on, the Advent Calendar. You have to get it like it's going to be huge. It costs a lot. You guys will be seeing it on my channel because I refuse to not get it. I get it every year and it's pretty much a way to count down into Christmas I think it starts on the like I don't know what day it starts on they'll tell you but like you open up like you read a little paragraph and you open up a gift every single day um, so uh, one thing I do want to know from you guys is do you want me to just do an unboxing like just sit down and unbox all of it or would you like to see a vlog style of me opening the box every single day um, and just being genuinely surprised let me know because that's coming up in probably December all right so the first thing I am seeing is the little kit and I just I love that they have everything in plastic and together so it's not like you don't have to search to find all of the stuff all right so we have the book club kit and you can see that the book is a lesson in vengeance i will say once upon a book club is really good at getting the books that people are going to be wanting especially for ya adult it could be hit or miss it could be like things you don't know about they're all pretty decent it's just for me i don't personally like historical fiction and the adult box tend to like it's a 50 50 chance that you can get a historical fiction um but the ya usually there's something for everyone here so inside you'll see a conversation with the author there's discussion questions because this is also a book club so there's a facebook group where you can go and discuss with other subscribers um and then these are all of the gifts and it looks like we have three this time okay we also have a quote print and a letter from the author on the back the quote says i refuse to be weak we have a bookmark that says the same quote and on the back it says not to open your gifts until you reach the page number. I completely forgot to tell you guys how it works. If you're new to this unboxing, the way it works is inside of each book there's a series of post-its um, and you get different gifts that have a page number on it. Once you reach that page, you're allowed to open the gift and it is supposed to be something that brings the story to life. This is the book box that got me back into reading, so I'm super excited about it. It will always have a special place in my heart. I recommend it highly for anyone who is like wanting to get into reading, but they're not excited about it. It's definitely worth it. If you're reading it and opening the gift, even if the gift isn't great, you're still going to like it because it's going to draw you into the story more. You're going to feel closer to the characters. You're going to feel like you're actually in this like in this journey with them. All right, so let's get started. We have a signed book plate, uh, and it looks like we have a letter to say, okay, that the page numbers on the gift is not this, it's not correct. So I'm gonna refer to this when looking at the page numbers, okay? We have page 124, which is page 136, actually. We have 265, which is 298. We have page 90, which is page 99. Ella laughs and steals a wide-brimmed hat from a nearby mannequin, perching it atop her head. It makes her look like a character from an Agatha Christie novel. She has become a hard-boiled detective in herringbone with a nose for blood. All right, so I'm thinking that this is the hat that they're referring to. So let's see how it looks. That's cute. Looks like it's tied. How do I open this? Oh, okay, there's a rubber band around it. Ugh. Oh, it's enough. Okay, so it says uh, shush, like the S H H. So it's 
Um, I'm something a mystery. What is it? I'm saving a mystery. Here's read this. Like, what word is this? I can't. Like, it's. Oh, I'm solving a mystery. Wow, you guys, I solved a mystery there. <laughs> All right, so, ooh, the little, okay. You guys like it? <laughs> I don't know if it fits my hair because I have it, like, up a little bit. But, I mean, this is it. I'm solving a mystery. So I've gotten a hat like this uh, similarly it, it, in a previous box from them. It was red and it says, shush, I'm reading. I don't know why I said shush instead of shh. I just, I'm lazy. Shh, I'm reading. And I'm obsessed with that hat. I love it so much. Marjorie is watching me with a cool and impenetrable gaze. The artist painted her in, lush, in luscious pale silks, her black hair tumbling loose over her shoulders in defiance of the style of the time. Her nose is long and narrow, her lips faintly smiling, but it is her eyes that have always captured the moment. Uh, so it maybe the person, Marjorie, is getting her picture like painted. So looking at her attire, I think that it probably is a historical fiction, but um, it, it has to be YA. So they tend to do YA historical fiction pretty decently. I mean, this is nice. I've recently moved to a bigger apartment, so if you guys can't really tell, I'm actually in my reading room that I got exclusively for YouTube and my books. So my books have their own room, I'm so excited. But now I have more space, more wall space to put things like this. I don't know if I want a random like lady in a historical dress on my wall, but I mean, I have the option to do that now. Yeah, I mean, I'm not mad at this. It's, it's something new, I wish it was like, prettier to me but I never told you that I loved you but it's true it was always true those words they're my words from the letter I wrote Alex a week after she died the letter that was buried in her empty casket I slam the book shut and grip it between both hands as if they would will erase what I saw hmm do we have another book here usually when um usually when they when it says something about a book, they usually do like a journal. I haven't really seen like a regular monthly box that will have an actual book instead of like a journal. It's usually like a notebook. The only time they actually gave us uh, a second book as a gift is in like their limited edition boxes. Like the Bridgerton box did that and I like some of the Christmas stuff. All right, so we got another book that's why we have three gifts you guys okay so and uh, this is the secret garden by francis hoxson burnett i hope this is actually the book it is the book oh my god there's words i am so weird right now but you guys this is this is really interesting and it's it's a cute like little little print I, I am starting my own little classic section and i can't wait to put this in here like this pretty much made the box a little bit better to me Okay, so let me think about it. These were the three gifts. Um, how do I feel about this? It was okay. We have to see what's in the other box, but so far my two favorite gifts are these two. Um, the painting, I, I don't know if I'm gonna hang this up. Like, do you, would you guys hang it up? Like, is this something that you would put in your house? I don't know, it's just, but I love this. This is my favorite gifts. Like. Let's see what they have in the other box so I can tell you which one I like the most. Okay, you guys, we're moving on to the adult box. Sometimes the adult box is really good and sometimes it's not as many great gifts. So I'm going to be just as surprised as you are. So the book for this time is If the Shoe Fits. This looks like a romance and I cannot be any more happier. Like I love the romance books they have. Okay, so as always, it comes with a signed book plate, a letter from the author that has a quote on the back, and the quote says, maybe joy isn't a choice, maybe things aren't that simple, but then maybe they are. And then we have that same quote on the bookmark, and then, you know, not to open the gifts until you've reached that page. Um, once again, inside, we have our interview with the author, discussion questions, and our page numbers. All right, so let's just see the gifts. So the first one is page 87. 
It's a pretty box. The next one is page 286. And the last one is 232. Doubling back to the first page, I found a clear space and pressed my lips to the paper, leaving the impression of my red lips for him to find later. It's a secret, untraceable message from me to him, and I instantly regret it. I'm about to swipe my thumb across the page when I realize that it, it'll just create a smudge which might actually be creepier. No, no, no. This is way more stalker energy than I meant to give off. Nice, Cabbage Patch. Real nice. <laughs> okay. I already like, like from that little snippet, I like, I like the little characters that is like clumsy, quirky, overthinkers because that's so me. I'm always like really secret. Look at this inside of this box, you guys. Isn't that cute? I think I want to keep this one. Okay, so the gift is a journal. So this is Henry's journal and it's yellow. It's bright yellow and I love yellow. I'm starting to really, really love yellow, you guys. So... I was telling you guys earlier that I have a book room, so I have like this little chair. I, I can't turn it around because there's stuff on it, but it's yellow. It's bright yellow. I love that it's like, it just changes my whole mood. All right, so let's see. Oh, look you guys, it has the little lipstick print. It says, Jay, get me out of this meeting. So it's just blank pages, like there's no lines. It's just blank. I, I tend to like a little bit of lines um, just because I like I, I'm a really bad like writer <laughs> so I tend to like uh, lines but I think it's more for people who want to like draw things in so this is this is really cute I wrap the towel around me and of course it barely covers anything and suddenly I'm wishing for the very large very luxurious towels at our New York hotel story of my life I hate when I wrap a towel around me and it's just it doesn't even go all the way around <laughs> okay I don't know if, you know what this is like a probably a beach towel maybe but this is how it looks it has some wait you can't tell but it has tassels on the end and this is the pattern it's just gray and white I thought it was a scarf at first and then this is the bottom I thought it was a scarf at first Hmm. And then it like attached. It's like the same quote that I just read. I'm thinking that it's more of a scarf, to be honest. Like, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a scarf. What do you guys think? Do you think this is a scarf or some type of towel? I don't know. But either way, it's actually really cute. I like the pattern. Okay. All right, so the last gift. The shoe I've been working on is rough looking to the naked eye. Exposed seams, obvious shoe nail tacks, but I can see what it's supposed to be. I can see the potential and this tassel is the crowning finish. Okay, so it looks like a keychain, and it says handmade if the shoe fits here. And then it's just a tassel and it's like gold and then this is blue. I personally would have preferred pink, but it's okay. It's not my favorite gifts because I don't normally use the keychains that they include. I like uh, like cutesy things and my current keychain is pink, but it's like a pink furry like ball <laughs> and it's just so I can find my keys in my purse faster. So I mean, it's not my favorite. So th these were the three gifts. We have like the scarf slash blanket to be like an announced and then we have a journal and then we have the tassel. So if I have to choose between a box, I would choose the YA box because I did like, you know, most of the presents. Here we have the journal. I mean, I could have lived without it. Like I said, I don't typically like the the nun lines kind of thing. The tassel, no, I, I'm not a fan. And the, the scarf, I actually like, it's cute. All right, so that was everything in my Once Upon a Book Club box. I am now going to move on to my unplugged boxes. I have three of these, so let's see what is inside of this one. So this is the September box. All right, so this is the the Name of the Wind bath bomb. It says... Kvothe from Patrick Rothfuss's Name of the Wind is magically gifted and must use his gift to persevere after many challenges. This is an exclusive bath bomb from Unplugged. So you can see it's it's a purple bath bomb. I can't I don't really smell anything, so 
so next up we have the autumnal reading chai latte blend it says this delicious pumpkin spice latte pumpkin spice chai latte blend is an unplugged exclusive by sunshine cottage uh this is so cute i really want to get more into reading with a cup of tea i'm a huge coffee drinker and it's really hard for me to beat that habit the Bone Maker by Sarah Beth Dursk features an army of dead animals and resurrection. These hair clips perfectly represent the main character's ability as she fights through difficulties. These are an unplugged exclusive. So this is how it looks. They're like little bony hands. And then on the back, there's some clips. So this is actually pretty cute for October. It actually looks like it's being flipped off, so I don't know. <laughs> um, I like it. it. Like, the little hands are, like, paint, pan, painted black. If you guys can see that. This is actually really cute. I probably... Oh, no, I'm messing my hair up. You guys, we're going to have to leave this in here because it is not coming out. <laughs> the rest of this video because it is stuck on a braid. <laughs> but I, I, I'm super excited about this for October because this is probably the only time I would wear it. So the next thing we have is a Discovery of Witches bowl and spoon. Oh, I didn't get the bowl. Oh, how cute, you guys. It says just because something seems impossible doesn't make it untrue. And then you get this like cute little spoon. How cute is this? Oh my gosh. All right, so it says, Diana Bishop of Deborah Harkness, Harkness's book series doesn't think she wants anything to do with sorcery. However, she soon realizes how difficult it is to fight fate. She must push through difficulties to be the hero that the story needs. This bowl is an unplugged exclusive. I am so like soup, soup bowl. I am happy. This is an interview with the vampire candle. Anne Rice's interview with the vampire features Lestat, who was unwillingly indoctrinated, indoctrinated into the vampire way of life. We watch as he rises through challenges to become who he is meant to be. This is an unplugged exclusive candle from nature, from natural pure honest. Mm, it's, it smells very cherry-like. Okay, so next I am seeing a note from the author. I am seeing a signed book plate. This is a one to watch hair cleanser. One to watch by Kay Stamen London features Bia, a plus size fashion blogger who is sick of the lack of body diversity on some of her favorite shows. She must push through criticism to show off what she's got with her fashion skills. This hair rinse is an unplugged exclusive. I can't smell anything, but I am very particular about what I put on my hair. Um, so I probably won't use it, but it says that it's in the scent of mango. Okay, so inside of this package was two things. So first up, I think that this is the bottle opener. So this is the Sherlock Holmes bottle opener. Sherlock is an expert at solving mysteries. After every hard case, he must push through to move on to find the keys to solving the next. This exclusive key is also a bottle opener. It's actually really cute. What I think I wanna do is put it on a necklace. I love keys as necklaces. I don't know why, you guys, I'm weird. Okay, and the next thing we have is this Outlander B Pro Propolis. Claire from Diana Gobaldon's Outlander series is a healer that knows her way around an apothecary. This bee propolis would come in handy on her journeys of healing in Scotland. Of course, it is an unplugged exclusive. I don't know if I'm... <laughs> I don't smell any... I don't... I really can't tell you guys how it smells, but I mean, it's not my favorite scent at all. If... It doesn't smell great. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's not, it doesn't smell bad. It's just, there's like not really a, it's what I would expect something for bees to be like beeswax. That's what it smells like. If you guys ever smell beeswax, it's, it's probably this, this is beeswax. Okay, so next up we have our book and of course it's going to be wrapped. 
You guys, I completely forgot to tell you, these are the adult unplugged book boxes. I only get the adult box now. All right, so the book is The Night We Burn by S.F. Kosa. This month's book released August 10th through Sourcebooks. That's all it says, you guys. Okay, you guys, on to box number two. This is the Alice in Wonderland glass. It says, Alice from Lewis Carroll's Alice in Wonderland falls into a mar magical, bizarre world where everyone is unique and unapologetically themselves. It's a unplugged exclusive. I want you guys to be able to see the print. And on this side, it says, drink me. This is cute, but I was really hoping that it was one that had a straw with it. I would have been so in love with it then because that is something that I miss so much from the South. The little mason jar tumblers that we drink out of so much. Oh, I am so excited about this. So this is cold brew coffee and it's inspired by friends, I know. Friends cold brew coffee. Each of the six friends from the hit sitcom of the 90s has their own unique personality. This show teaches us about friendship, but also about embracing who you are. This is an unplugged exclusive. Look how cute this is. Okay, you guys, I don't know what this is, but there's like little things floating around in there. So I'm thinking that this is the elixir. Uh, so this is the Black Sun Facial Elixir. Black Sun by Rebecca Rowan Horse features Zyla, a disgraced teak, who is known for using her own unique abilities to overcome challenges. This is an unplugged exclusive. Elixirs are infused with moon water and lavender bits. So some separation is natural. So, I mean, this is, this is natural. So you would just shake it and use it on your face. I like this. I like the fact that they're including like some face products. I think this might be a first for them. Okay, so next up we have a lip balm. This is a uh, Beach Read lip balm. It says Beach Read by Emily Henry, Henry features two characters who appears as though they're polar opposites, but each has to be themselves to overcome individual challenges. Ooh, this is cute and unique. Look at that. What? So this is a... Lord of the Rings bookmark. The hobbits from J.R.R. Tolkien's Lord of the Ring series are always themselves, which plays to their strengths in the face of adversity. This is so cool. Like, I like how clear it is. Oh, what does it say? All that is gold does not glitter. Not all those who wonder are lost. The old that is strong does not wither. Deep roots are not reached by the frost. Okay, I am seeing a signed book plate here and a letter from the author. Oh, I needed one of these. This is a friend's coffee scoop. What's better than coffee and friends? This coffee scoop, an unplugged exclusive. So it's, it's just, you know, to get some ground coffee out of the thing, but there's also like this like little clip so you can clip it onto something, like onto the canister. This is so unique and cute. Like, oh, and it says coffee and friends. Okay, uh, oh, you guys, so we have the uh, Bridgerton enamel pin. See, now we're, we're doing pins that I care about. Each of the characters in Bridgerton by Julia Quinn turned TV show must embrace who they are in their own way. Daphne and Simon wind up falling for one another because of who they are. This is the final in a year-long season collectible pin series by Alisa's World. I love this. Oh my gosh. And on the little hand, it says, I burn for you. Can you guys see that? That is so cute. Okay, and finally, we get to the book. Okay, we have She Who Becomes the Sun by Shelley Parker Chan. She Who Becomes the Sun teaches some important lessons about being yourself. This is the first turn Unplugged has featured an exclusive dust jacket. This book released July 20th, 2021 through Macmillan. Let's see the, oh, okay. So this is the cover that they are doing. This is the original cover. So, 
I actually believe I have this book already. Okay, so I think this was also in one of my fairy loot boxes. So this is also another plug for you guys to go and watch my YA fantasy unboxing because I also got an edition of She Who Became the Sun in there and it was super amazing. So go watch that video because you won't be disappointed. Okay, so that was everything that was in that unplugged. Let's move on to let's move on to the very last unplugged box. So this is the June box. Oh, how cute. So this is the A Song of Achilles water bottle. In The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller, the gods are interested in the Greek warrior Achilles, half god. The fates predict a great destiny for him. This water bottle is an unplug exclusive. It is glass, you guys. It has like a little spout here and there's a straw inside. So it says, I would know him in the death and at the end of the world. Okay, so next up we have the Gideon the Ninth Moisturized Mist. Gideon wants to fight against the destiny that was written for her and become something bigger and better in Tasman Muir's Gideon the Knight. This moisturizing mist can be used on skin and hair and is an unplugged exclusive. Mmm, so it kind of smells like men's cologne a little bit. So it says whiskey, blood orange, and musk. That's why I'm thinking men. So the next thing is a conventionally, conventionally yours bath bomb. Aiden and Conrad from Conventionally Yours by Annabeth Albert both feel their destiny is to win a gaming tournament, but must work together to get to the convention in order to play. This cloud bath bomb has a rainbow inside. It is an exclusive by Sudsy Duck Soapery. I love the little case that they put it in. It's so cute and it's gold. You guys, this is smelling so good. Oh, wow. Oh, I love this. Okay, so it's like plastic wrap, which I'm good. And it's, it's shaped in, in, the, in the shape of a cloud. I really love that. Wow, it smells so good. Okay, so next up, ooh, this is new. So we have the Priority... Priory of the Orange Tree Facial Steamer. The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon touches upon the idea that all humans have similar ideas and emotions. Regardless of background, each of us wants to find and fulfill our destiny. This is so cool. So, you know, a shower steamer, not a shower steamer, a facial steamer, you would just put it in like a pot and then you literally like put your head over so that it clears out your pores and things. Oh, it has chamomile, Calendula, hibiscus, lemon balm, lemon bits, orange bits, and rose. So this is how, look how, oh, that looks really good. I can't wait to try that. This. Okay, so this is the One Last Stop Lemonade Mix. August from One Last Stop by Casey McQuinston is chasing her destiny and moving to New York where she meets Jane. This exclusive yummy lemonade mix was made by Farron Bunch Gardens. So this is a strawberry lemonade mix. Oh, that looks really yummy. I can't wait to try this. Do I have to add sugar? Ooh, you guys, I, I am in love right now. We have some paper gifts. So we have a bookmark. Uh, it says, poor, poor, lonely books, lonely pages bound in lonely letter leather their only company the occasional louse okay and then we have a letter from the author i'm seeing it's like some silver like dice it looks like oh cool so this is the peter darlin steel ice and this peter pan retelling peter darlin knows he can't fight his own destiny. This exclusive set of steel ice can be frozen and used as ice in your beverages without watering them down. They're designed exclusively for unplugged. I love how they sound too. So this is how they look. They're just cool. We are down to the book. It looks like a paperback. Wow, another duplicate book. So this is the Jasmine Throne by Tasha, Tasha Suri. So it says this month's book released by Hatchet Book Group on July 8th of this year. 
I also got this in, I believe, either Fairy Loot or Illumicrate in my fantasy book box unboxing. So this is the one that I got. You will have to watch the video because I'm not really sure which box it came from, but I mean, I got the paperback now in the hardcover, but this is like the special edition version. So it's, it's really cool. Okay, so that was everything in my unplugged book subscription boxes. So now my thoughts. Oh my goodness, you guys, this was so much better than the other boxes that I unboxed. Like I really loved these gifts and they're like coming strong with like the facial items, like skincare stuff. I've, I haven't seen that in too many book boxes. Um, so I don't know if you guys know this, but I actually paused my subscription with them until after I moved into my new apartment. This is why I have so many boxes that I haven't unboxed because I packed in like all of my camera equipment and my boxes and books were like packed up there. So uh, I think I'm going to unpause. Like I think that I'm going to keep this subscription. You guys will be seeing it more on my channel. So if you like this box, let me know your thoughts and keep like watching my videos because I'm probably going to be unboxing next month's box if I can like <laughs> get the box real quick. All right. So our last set of boxes is from Authentic Book Box. So let's, oh, actually, no, I have one more unplugged. <laughs> I, it was, yeah. Yeah, one more unplugged, you guys. Oh, this is, all right, this we have, I don't know what it says. It says, when I have a house of my own, I shall be miserable if it have not an excellent library. This is perfect for this room. Oh my gosh, I'm putting it up. So it's a tea towel, but I'm going to use it as a tapestry or whatever. I'm going to hang it on the wall. So this is the Pride and Prejudice tea towel. It says a number of characters in Jane Austen's classic work shows a level of fearlessness in a time of gender inequality. So cool. I am hanging this up because it just, it's everything. No way. Oh, this is so cool. It's a lemon squeezer. I have one already, but I mean, I can't get mad. I, I, I mean, this is, this is really cool. The one lemon squeezer to rule them all. So this is the Lord of the Rings lemon squeezer. Frodo Baggins from J.R.R. Tolkien's Lord of the Rings series fearlessly leave home with the help of friends on an adventure to save their civilization. Be careful. This lemon squeezer has the power to rule all. That is so cool. I am starting to really love this box. Look, the gifts are like so different. Like you don't really know what to expect. Okay, so this is actually two things in this box. The first thing is a sachet of tea. Sachet is a thing of tea. <laughs> um, and this is the all boys orange blue tea. So George M. Johnson's book fearlessly features personal essays touching on gender identity, marginalization, brotherhood, and more. This tea was made by the Simple Bookish Co. And it says fearless. Okay, and the second item is this butterfly tea strainer. Butterflies often symbolize the idea of courage to embrace transformation. This tea strainer is from the Team Unplugged. So you guys can see that. Oh my gosh, you, no way. Oh, oh, I always wanted one of these. You guys, it is honey and a little honey dipper. You know, like in the Honey Nut Cheerio commercials. Oh my God, this is so cute. I gotta take this out. Oh, it has a quote on it. It says, the pedigree of honey does not concern the bee. A clover any time to him is aristocracy. And it's, this is Dickinson Pure Honey. How cute is that? Let me read it. Emily Dickerson's Honey and Dipper. Emily Dickerson was a groundbreaking poet from her time. Her fearless attitude in expressing who she was through her words continue to inspire writers and readers to this day. This is an exclusive Honey Dipper featuring a quote from Dickinson. I love this. Oh, 
So this is from Bridgerton. It's the Bridgerton Body Butter. It says each character in Bridgerton has to bravely find themselves to overcome certain challenges. This body butter came in four different varieties. Simon, Eloise, Daphne, and Lady Whistledown. Which one did you get? I got Simon. Okay, so this is Simon, passion and burning for you. You deserve everything your heart desires. This is the avocado body butter. Let's see how it smells. Ooh, I don't know if you guys can see that. It smells good. So we have some more paper items. We have a bookmark that has a quote on it. It says, uh, this side has Gargoyle Queen, and then this is like a series of books from Jennifer Estep. We have a signed book plate. We have a letter from the Arthur here. And we have another letter from the Arthur here. I don't know <laughs> why it's two of them. Okay, we're finally down to no way. You guys, we got two books. We got two books in here. That's why there's two letters from the Arthur. What? There's two letters from the, and it's different people. Um, please resubscribe me right now. Okay, if I could stop this video and resubscribe, well, unpause. You guys, okay, so the first book is called Capture the Crown. This is by Jennifer Estep. So I'm gonna make sure that I put the right letter into the book. <laughs> and the second one is The Stranger Behind You. So this is her letter. This is by Carol, Carol Goodman. You guys, I am so excited. Like what, this happened and I didn't know? Like I'm sitting here with these books and I had no clue it was two books in here. Okay, so finally I have reached all of my unplug boxes. And as I said before, I am unsus I, I mean, I am resubscribing, unpausing, whatever I did to my uh, like, account. I love this. Like they have gotten so much better than, uh, since my last vi filming of them, like I, I'm just so happy. Okay, you guys, so now we are on to the authentic box. I have three of these, so they're not going to be in order. The first thing I am seeing is there is a specific playlist that coordinates with this book that I can just scan on my phone and it automatically plays while I read the book. I'm not someone who can read and listen to music at the same time, but if you are, that is something really cool to take advantage of. Um, I am seeing this book cocktail so this is called the tequila highball and then on the other side it's a recipe inspired by the story and of course the book if you haven't guessed already is the heart principle i'm super excited about this because i love like all of the other books by helen hong hong um, the first thing I am seeing is a bookmark from the heart principle and it says my compass always points to her the Lark Ascending gives you the scent of lavender with a hint of cedar wood that will not alone relax any busy mind but transport you to a serene escape. Look closely and you will see gorgeous yellow stones and rose petals. Let's see. Oh my gosh, it's lavender. Oh, that is relaxing. Okay, so this is how it looks. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Okay, next up we have a soy body whip. This is the Aspen body whip. Uh, Anna loves clean and organic scents and this pine scented body whip is exactly that. This crispy unisex fragrance blends top notes of tarragon, grapefruit, lime leaf with the warm base notes of Siberian pine and amber. I'm a little nervous about the pine. That's, let's see how it smells here. Mm. It's not heavily pine, but you can still smell it. And I'm just not a fan of pine scented items. So that's a no for me. Okay, so this is Passion Mist. Passion Mist is an energizing adventure and spicy sensuality for your body, mind, and soul. This aphrodisiac blend of tangerine, ylang-ylang, 
patchouli and more relieves stress and enhances any romantic evening for two or just for you. Let's see how it smells. Mmm. I don't, I don't like the smell of that. <laughs> it's not romantic at all to me, so I don't know. It smells medicinal almost. Like it's like a lot of like medicine-y and peppermint and menti and uh, those type of things that doesn't do anything for me. <laughs> All right, so next up we have a little book of matches. I don't know if this is, yeah, I think it's just added as an extra, but I mean, it's, it has like the little book. It looks like the book box, so I really like that. Okay, so for me, I I, I choose to su be surprised for the, the tasting part of the, oh, I didn't tell you guys about this box. So this box is, you get, a, you get something for every sense. So you get the book, you get something for your sense, you get something for, um, let's see, your, your listening, that's the playlist, feel, I guess this would be taste. Uh, and for taste, you get to choose between either tea or like some type of cocktail mixture. I just couldn't choose between the two, so I just said surprise me. And this, this month, I guess they picked the cocktail. So they gave me cheeky lime juice. And this is like one of the ingredients from the cocktail recipe you saw earlier. So it says, we sell only 100% freshly squeezed citrus juices that are strained, then heated and bottled for extended shelf life. If I didn't get this, I would have gotten an English breakfast tea. And finally, you guys, we got the book. This is The Heart Principle by Helen Huang. Uh, yeah, it's not special edition. It's not signed. It's just, well, actually, it's supposed to be signed. Let me look. Is it not signed? Usually their books come signed, so I'm a little surprised as to, like, why mine wasn't. But, I mean, it's fine, I guess. Um, this is how the book looks outside of there's there's nothing really a dit like fa extra about this box I mean this book Okay, so let's move on to the next authentic box Well, I've had this one for a really long time. So this one is the one last stop box and I've actually gotten that that book somewhere else. I've read it and then I've sold that book to someone else. So <laughs> that's how long I've had this box um, so we get a bookmark that says New York takes from her sometimes, but she takes it too. Wait, New York takes from her sometimes, but she takes it too. I don't understand. Okay, so the next thing I'm seeing is the book Cocktail. This is the Blackberry Mint Moscow Mule. And then on the other side, we have a do-it-yourself Popeye's chicken sandwich recipe. Okay, so, ooh, the first thing I am seeing is a candle that is supposed to smell like pancakes. So it's supposed to be Pancake Billy's House of Pancakes candle. I am excited about that. Transport yourself to Pancake Billy's House of Pancakes with this delicious buttermilk pancake scented candle. Now your home can smell like freshly baked pancakes all day long. Oh. It does not smell like pancakes, I will say this, but it does have like a cinnamon, cinnamony. Oh, I can smell some, I like, I don't know, you have to like really smell it. I'm thinking maybe once it's burned, like I probably will smell something more, but this is how it looks. That is cute, I love that. Okay, so next up, I'm thinking this is the, yeah, this is the taste. I think they chose a cocktail drink for me as well for this one. Yep, this is the Moscow Mule Splash uh, cocktail mixer. This is non-alcoholic, by the way. Uh, so this is a classic blend of bold ginger and lime, traditionally mixed with vodka. Okay, and next up, I have a coffee scrub. So this is the Whip Sugar Scrub. Yeah, whip sugar scrub. These coffee scented foaming whip sugar cubes are handcrafted from quality sugar and foaming bath butter soap babes. These make a great exfoliator, leaving the soup, the skin soft and radiant from a glowing and polished look. How does it? Hmm, it actually smells kind of like caramel almost, like chocolate. 
I'm not really smelling coffee. I'm smelling more like chocolate. Ooh, what's this? The next thing I am seeing is botanical bath tea. This bath is serious love though. Developed and hand blended by Butter Love and Big Heart Tea. Uh, together we combine study of herbs and wellness to offer a nurturing addition to your evening soak. So I guess this is more like bath salts that you would just soak in. So this is how it looks. So, uh, getting some more matches. Oops, they're falling out. I guess for your candle, they don't really talk about it, but I guess this is an extra. And finally, this is the book. This is One Last Stop by Casey, Casey McQuiston. I wonder if it's signed. Yeah, there's like a signed nameplate. And we also got a letter from the author. Okay, so on to our very last box in this video. This is the final Authentic Books box. Uh, it's not in its traditional box. I think it's a little bit bigger or wider. I'm not really sure which one it is, but maybe it's like a special edition box or so. Ooh, this is the latest box. I am so excited about this one. So this is the playlist for this box. A bookmark. And it says, someone has to save the kids. It's for their own goods. Okay, and the book is For Their Own Good by Samantha Downey. All right, so once again, this is the book cocktail and it is the lemongrass gin and tonic. And then on the back, we have the recipe, which is the salmon salad sandwiches. Mm, that one don't look too good, you guys. <laughs> it does not look like something I would wanna eat. Okay, so this is the Smells Like Teen Privilege candle. Uh, smells like teen privilege gives you the scent of juniper and cedar, a dangerous combination when in the wrong hands. Look closely and you will see gold flakes. It's not my favorite scent, you guys. Like, I am just, yeah, I'm not a fan of this one. I don't think that I like either cedar or juniper. I don't know what it is, but it kind of smells like men's cologne. And that's, that's just not my aesthetic for my house. Next up, we have another, it looks like they gave me cocktail again. So I'm thinking maybe I select a cocktail instead of tea, or maybe they just choose this one for me all the time. So what they chose for me is the Rose City, Rose City Tonic, and this is Portland syrup. It's a mixer. Um, so it says this authentically brewed whole ingredient tonic made with genuine cinchona bark and rose petals features a delicate floral layer so if i didn't get this i would have gotten an organic black tea with cinnamon oh the next thing Ooh, this is interesting the next thing i am seeing is a bath milk this is the bubbling bath milk it is in green tea and cucumber it says pour our green tea and cucumber bubbling milk bath into your bath for relaxation Fluffy bubbles and a luxurious milk bath. This is a one to two time use product depending on how much water you use and or how many bubbles you want. Let's see how it smells. I like the combination though. Yeah, this is pretty good. So it's green tea and cucumber. I love that. Okay, we got another matchbook. Next up we have what looks like a mask and this is honey matcha. Oh, it's a hand cream, it's not a mask. This is the Honey Matcha Hand Cream, intensive nourishing cream for noticeably smoother and luxurious hands, body, and feet. Now you'll be prepared for the next PTA meeting. I wonder how it smells. Let's see here. I love hand cream. My hands are like always dry. Hmm. I don't smell anything. But I think the vanilla that's already on my hands is keeping me from smelling things. Yeah, it, it doesn't smell like anything. It's just like, it smells like nothing. Okay, and finally we have made it to our book. Once again, it is for your own good. My little sticker has fallen off in the box. I mean, I, I don't mind it. I didn't know you can even take the sticker off, so that's fine. Uh, it has a, whoops, it has a sign nameplate 
and a letter from the author. Okay, so that was everything that came in the authentic book box. So my thoughts. Um, I feel like a lot of the books that came in this box I already had. I was excited about The Heart Principle and For Your Own Good, but one last stop I actually already had. And I feel like, they, did they give me another one? It was a duplicate. Okay, so maybe not, but um, I feel like for the price, this is actually pretty, like my second uh, exp most expensive box. Like I think it's like up there with a Luma Crate. I think it's like $50 for this box. Um, I just don't, I don't, I, I see the value. I see that it's there, but I don't think that I need it. Um, I love the little scents thing. I love that. I love the cocktail mixes. I love everything about this box, but I just feel like it's an unnecessary expense when I could just, like, I don't need these items. Um, and the books are not, you know, the pretty ones. Like, I, I like the uh, book subscription boxes that give you signed books and also like sprayed edges or exclusive covers or things like that. So I just feel like it's probably not a good match for me. Um, but that's not saying anything bad about the box. I think the box is amazing. I would recommend it for people who are just wanting to get something in the mail. They just want to be like something to relax. They want bath bombs and like teas and things like that. That would be great. But for me, I want more special edition books. I want it to be signed. Like I'm more crazy about that than anything else. And I just feel like these are regular paperback books. Um, like you'll get a signed book plate, but that's probably the most you'll get. Um, so I don't think that, I do think I, I have more of these coming because I just ordered like one, I just ordered one. So I, I know that I'll unbox another one. But after that, I'm, I don't know. What do you guys think about this box? Like I should have started with that because if you guys like the box, then I'll continue to unbox it. But I just kind of feel like I don't need it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that was everything for this unboxing. I'm so sorry that it was a long video, but thank you so much for sticking with me. Uh, once again, if you like this video, I do these all the time and I will continue to do it. So the only way to know about my videos is to subscribe. And if you like this video, please click that like button so that my video has the opportunity to reach other people. Um, until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.